morning, guys. I hope your day is starting off well. Well, do you guys remember this? Holy oh, shit. Wait, what's this? Mac Lethal. Who is Mac Lethal? Am I supposed to know who this person is? I don't even know who this person is. And he's got a fucking blue check mark. Who is this dude? Well, I mean, I told you that if, if this thing actually took off and became something, I would keep you guys informed and we would follow it. And, um, yeah, he, he responded, Mr. Mac Lethal. So let's see what Mr. Lethal has to say. Let's get it. I seriously still do not know who the fuck this guy is. It's called Mac Lethal, single white female. <laughs> I'm sorry. Have you guys seen that movie? Have you seen it? All right. The joke is kind of lost on you if you haven't seen the movie, but if you've seen the movie, then you'd get it. All right. Let's just, let's just get this. I got a little story about a single white female. Her name is Tammy, but you'll need some fine details. She gets up on the internet and argues with strangers because inside she's full of insecurity and anger. She tries to be edgy. That's her rap ploy. But back in the day, she was a frat boy. She says everybody hates her, but no one even cares. So now I'm going to grab the bitch and throw her by the hair. Hey, yo, single white female, it's time to make the J burn. Where's your fucking balls, bitch? You acting like you gray worm. How you going to let a little tweet hurt your feelings? Instead I bruise your ego, little girl, what are you revealing? Your whole fucking gimmick is claiming everybody's too PC and sensitive. So why you want some victim shit? If somebody don't like you, that shit straight troubles you. Why the fuck you acting like an SJW? <laughs> I'm so sorry, but... <laughs> I got it. I can't keep it on this. I'm going to die. But you hear what he's saying? He's like, you're the one that's telling everybody, you know, everyone in the world's too sensitive. PC has gone too way too far and everything. And then, you know, a someone make, says a tweet about you and about your content. One tweet. And you just go overboard and create this entire diss track, you know? Um, yeah, okay, it's a little hypocritical, I guess, is what he's trying to say. <laughs> is it just me? How much does this remind you of the Eminem and Machine Gun Kelly tr um, diss uh, fight back and forth? Where basically in the end, it's Eminem basically sunning M. MGK down and the disc goes away and fizzles out. In this case, Mac Lethal, I don't even know who the fuck this guy is, but if he actually rapped with um, ICP, I would assume that he's, and by looking at him, he's been around the rap scene for a while, right? And um, Tom hasn't. So you've got this older generation and old head against the, you know, the younger generation. I don't know. Um, we'll see. Let's just go on with this. You rapping like you want to make America great again, but you're not even American, Tammy. You're Canadian. You. Ha! Did you know that? I didn't know that. Tom's Canadian? That is nothing at all to do with wanting to make America great again. But, um, yeah, I didn't know he was Canadian. That's okay. You live in the safest fucking country in the world And you act like you're a press man You're such a little girl Speaking of little girls You wanna diss my daughter? Damn, that's a cheap shot That's so damn disgusting, man Well, I can throw cheap shots, too Let's talk about the fact Your girlfriend used to suck off R.A. the rugged man You wanna say I'm rapping filler? Your girl is a king of the dot groupie That be letting rappers filler We got mutual friends They gave me dirt These are facts Your girlfriend ghost writes half your raps On YouTube The biggest video of mine has 
has more views than all your fucking videos combined. Speaking of YouTube, you claim that I'm irrelevant. I got two million more fucking subscribers than you do. You wear women's clothes and Nicki Minaj braids, cause you gotta hide the fact that you secretly got AIDS. You think that I'm not paid? Silly bitch, I'm a millionaire. You want proof? Meet me at the bank and I'ma kill you there. White on white violence, damn it's snowing. You're the fucking rap equivalent of Candace Owens. I heard you block people on Twitter because they told you Mac Lethal is bigger. Sweet Jesus, you're bitter. What's the matter, Lele Pons? Did my lethal injection get stuck in your BJJ wrong? All. Oh. Damn, it's snowing. You're the fucking rap equivalent of Candace Owens. I heard you black people on Twitter because they told you Mac Lethal is bigger. Sweet Jesus, you're bitter. What's the matter, Lele Pons? Did my lethal injection get stuck in your BJJ wrong? Aw, oh, what's the matter, Meth Lamore? You need another stupid white boy gimmick to move some units at the record store? You're not a lyricist. You're not controversial. No one is offended by you, and that really hurts you, bro. You lie about your height. You're not 6'5", you little man. You look like Kid Rock. Had a meth baby with Lil Xan. You look like Lil Pump had a crack baby with Bad Baby. What's the matter, Elsa? Why you acting sad lately? I'm a martial artist. You fake wrestle, bitch. You aren't the man, but you do look like Becky Lynch. Ladies and gentlemen, coming to the ring right now, this man is a Canadian who would give anything to be American. Stand. Oh my God. Five foot eight. I mean, uh, six foot five. Weighing 72 pounds, Tammy McDogfort! Oh shit, let's watch this wrestling video. Oh my god, what kind, what kind of fucking move is that? What is that? <laughs> in your diss song, you tried to say that I was gay, right? You're the motherfucker that be dressing up in gray tights. See, you and other half naked men can fucking play fight. You just need an excuse to lay there and take pipe. In America, hog is another word for dick, which is the reason that you have it tatted underneath your lip. Cause you love dick, bro. You give enough head. You wear nail polish, motherfucker. Nuff said. You ain't skilled, be quiet. You look like Billie Eilish. Did too many pills and got filled with violence and killed her stylist. I heard your this bitch, I ain't bust a sweat. You diss ICP, homie, your girl's a juggalette. You say I'm in my 30s like this shit is a bad thing. I'm healthy and I'm rich and I'm living my rap dreams. My kids go to a nice private school. I got a sick fucking house, I own my own pool. How the fuck you gonna try to say I'm having an identity crisis? You're a 30 year old man dressing like this. I wear normal clothes. I don't need controversy and shock value. I grab the mic and pour my soul. Let this shit be a lesson in how you thirst fame. From here on out your name is infinitely curse main cause if you say your last name you have to say my first name bitch my fucking rap name is in your fucking birth name mac damn i'm not gonna lie that was a fucking fire diss he fucking brought it and i'm telling you look i don't i don't know who the, i honestly don't know who this guy is i i really don't um but he's good and he fucking brought it and yeah round one goes to Mac Lethal let's see if Tom comes back I don't think he's going to if he does um he's gonna have to come with some some shit like some shit uh cause now I know what this guy's about He's fucking talented and he's, he brought, I mean, he, not only did he son him, he also brought in personals. He brought in, I mean, it was just fucking fire, man. All right. Uh, yeah. So you guys let me know in the comments, who do you think won this round? Who do you think? And don't just say Tom because you're a Tom fan. Um, or, or whoever, you know, people have, a, people have a tendency of just saying who their favorite rapper is who won it. Just like with the, with the M and the MGK battle. Um, this one, just be honest. I mean, for me, it's a clear winner. Mac Liesel just won. I mean, his, his diss was, uh, I mean, there was no comparison to me at all, you know. So just let me know in the comments. Um, you guys have a really fantastic day. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And what else?
yeah, take care of each other because no one else is going to. Ciao.